So we're here. We're at an abandoned dry cleaner somewhere in Ohio. This is the front entrance right here. Nothing too spectacular, but just get ready. It gets wild when we go to the back. Let's go check it out. We believe Phillips Dry Cleaners opened in 1961 based on state records, but it may have been earlier because this property was actually built in 1937. And this business, we believe, closed around 2013 as the neighborhood continued to decline over the years. Thank you. Please hurry back. Here, see, here's the dial to move the shirts and the pants and the clothes throughout the facility on these automated hangers. Oh, this is weird. There's like a garage door. Offices. Wow. Look at the clothes that's, that are hung way up high. Let's find the boys. Need a replacement zipper? Is this like storage? She's got the sick uh, zipper lubricant. Do you need any zipper lubricant? This old drill. Oh, that is old school. Yeah, the fonts and it says like the works like magic. It's very cool. Oh, look, there's a big box of it. It's out. awesome. Here's a whole bunch. Of oh yeah, a bunch of new. What is that? Just like a card that says they tried their hardest to take it out, but anything else would damage it. To the inspection department. That's sweet. What is that? Duraware? I'm learning so much about this industry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought they just had bigger washing machines. Exactly. Look at all the zippers. Are you gonna steal wool? Look at that, actually. The clothes hanging up here are so cool. Look at that. So it would run and it would rotate it down to there, and then you could grab the clothes off. Sunshine Fresh, Solvent Freshener, and Deodorant. Let's head back to the offices. Detective and uh, Security Agency patch. Women in a men's bathroom.
Anybody in here? Nineteen seventy nine prices. We found many interesting artifacts in the office, including a stack of advertisements that the business had run over the years. Here's just a few from 1962 and 1963. Another thing we found that was very interesting was a job application that actually listed the date of birth of the person applying as 1895. We've never seen anything that old. Let's head back out to where the work was done. Buttons, buttons, and more buttons. We got more buttons. I do too. This looks like commercial irons or industrial irons. Okay, check out this time clock. Cincinnati time. And then we got this piece of equipment right here. Looks like you'd hang a shirt on it and it would pass through. All the tags. This floor is really bad. All the equipment's still here. Still clothes here. Look at all the buttons. Look at all the buttons. This is a gem. Look at all the tags. So you look right there. Oh yeah, dude. You see these like, seats up here? You can see the clothes go up and around, even all the way to the top. You can see they left everything including an old vintage sewing machine and lots of tags. Some with light starch, some with just numbers to track them through the system. One of my favorite parts about this property is that you can see they hang their tickets right here on this homemade rack. And the way they do that is with mouse traps. 
It's a good idea. It's crazy that they're all still hanging here. All these clothes. Hanging here, never to be picked up. Here's an old vintage time clock. There's lots of equipment here, including this one. Looks like you'd mount a shirt on it and it would steam both sides as it went through. As well as lots of different styles of these steam presses or whatever they are, a press of some type. Looks like there's all different styles for different types of clothing. If you guys like this video, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and share it on social media. It definitely helps us out. Until next time, be safe out there. Hmm, I wonder if someone's living here. Grapes? That's not good. Those are grapes and they're not even bad yet. That's